Hello, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. This is a podcast style series for you to enjoy for us to stay connected. And so I can still inspire your spirit and fill you with hope. I want to talk a little bit today about this energy that I'm feeling very, very strongly right now as we are going to be stepping into deeper into the autumn season here in the United States where I live in Minnesota. It will become beautiful with the trees changing colors, the leaves falling off the trees gradually, hopefully eventually. (laughs) We'll see. Some years we get early snow and then, you know, there goes the leaves. Hoping that this year is gradual. However, as I'm recording this this episode in September, I really feel strongly that there is, we are entering into a time of acceleration or rapid growth and expansion. So I want to let you know to make sure you buckle up and wear your seatbelts, always wear your safety belts, all your protective gear (laughs) so that you can uh, navigate the bumps along the path. Now, I want to not give you like this, like prediction or anything like that. I don't like that. You know I don't believe in predictions. Yeah, I'm a psychic, but I don't believe in predictions. That might sound strange, but it's really true because I know through all the work that I've done intuitively and all the work that I've done in human form for my own self, for my own life, I know that we create our lives. We co-create our lives through our choices, through our connection with ourselves. And you are at this time, at this moment in time, invited to, you're being requested to, to allow yourself to be part of a growth time, be part of growth, of expansion. And it might feel like we've already been stretched and expanded, but let's consider this time like spandex, shall we? Like the finest of leggings made with spandex. And we know that those spandex leggings, they hold it a lot. They can hold a lot. And with that, there is deep appreciation. And so too can you. You are like a spandexed legging. (laughs) You can hold, you can hold a lot. You can stretch, you can carry all of the things that will help you to move through this life and through this time that we're in. It's not easy. I know that. For some, it might look like it's easy, or it might seem like some people are taking this, this 2020 time frame and like just going like gangbusters, making the most of it. Aren't they great? Yeah, that's only like a select few. Let's just be clear. You though, you have moments, have opportunities, have choice points where you too can feel very productive, very connected and totally like on top of things. And That is possible through times like this where you are invited and requested to show up for growth, growth and expansion. Now, when you were little, do you remember having any kind of growing pains like sore knees, sore joints, sore legs, sore muscles in your legs especially? Well, it's true that sometimes we grow quickly and when we grow quickly, that can create some pain or discomfort. For us. However, we are definitely entering into right here, right now, a time of accelerated growth if you choose to participate in the accelerated program. Many of you will be saying, um, no, thank you. I want to pass. I do not want to participate in the gifted and talented, the advanced placement, the accelerated program, because I know that those guys always have to do way more work than everybody else, and then you don't have time for fun. I mean, am I right? Am I right on that? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Mm. Having a sip of coffee this morning, Sunday morning coffee after all. The big point here is that you're not forced into a time of growth. You're not forced into this. You're not forced. 
But you will feel the difference when you don't participate or you don't engage in opportunities that show up for you. And by opportunities, I don't mean real tangible, obvious, hey, in your face things. I mean subtle opportunities, subtle requests, subtle invitations. But you will feel a contrast in your body. You will feel a difference between participating in this kind of accelerated energy pattern or not participating in it. And you are still part of it, even if you choose not to participate. I want to tell you that. And I'm not talking about like a move to like 5D or whatever people, some spiritual people are talking about all these different like levels of advancement and, and all these, these complicated storylines of energy. And that's great for some people, some groups in context, people that kind of get that, understand that. But I'm all about making sure that spirituality and energy information is translated into a way that real human minds like you and I can actually use this stuff. I mean, what's the point if we can't use it? And so I'm trying to tell you that I feel an incredible push of energy an accelerated shift. And I know that I'm already participating. And I can tell because I don't want to participate necessarily because I can feel myself trying to drag my feet or drag my energy or hold myself back more so than I've ever been held back before. Do you feel like one of your life themes is holding yourself back? You're going to feel it more and more and more now because there's an opportunity with an accelerated energy shifting, an accelerated time of growth. You're going to feel it even stronger. Those things that you don't like, you're going to see, sense, feel those even stronger for yourself. This is a reflection of self. And if you're seeing it in a relationship, you're seeing it with your kids, you're seeing it with somebody else, you're seeing it in the workplace, you're seeing it in the <clears throat> globally, in communities or organizations that you belong to or you follow. If you see that, it's just a reflection of you. There's a part of that that's reflecting back at you so you can see, know what your patterns are so you can make different choices. You can make change through choice. Change comes through choice. Change comes through choice. And the only way that you make change by choice is when it is amplified. The bad stuff is so bad, you have no better choice than to step forward into discomfort, even though you're digging your heels in and dragging your feet into the progress of the process of change. And I can say this to you with love because I'm saying it to myself right now. As I am speaking, I am also receiving the same information. I'm tired of this. I'm tired. I'm tired of feeling everything in the context of heaviness of what I've been holding on to, resistant to change. And I am ready to ease up some of that intensity. And so if you are like, no, I don't want accelerated growth. Nope, I don't want to be in the advanced placement program, Bridget. I do not want that. I am not. I have had enough. I am dealing with enough. I'm barely keeping my head above water. I feel you. I know. I feel that too. And yet there are moments, subtle moments where we feel connected and alive. We feel inspired. We feel the essence of the gifts that we've been given and we cannot help but light up inside. And that's what this pattern of accelerated growth is for, to truly choose to make change. Change comes by choice, not just by force. But too many of us have waited, have been dragging our feet. And we can continue to do that. You have a choice to continue to do that. You can continue to feel, 
you can continue to be in the classroom space of just getting the lessons, the lessons, the lessons over and over and over again, the same lessons, the same information, and feeling unprepared and crappy. Like you're just getting beaten up by the universe, by energy. That's because you're not even moving. You're just standing there. You're not making the choice to shift your energy even subtly, even a little tiny bit. This accelerated growth time that we're in, entering in, I should be clear, entering in. It's common during the fall. It's common from what I have experienced in past years. It's common to have that September, October, November um, seasonal cycles and change do call us to release the past patterns from the other cycle that we were in the season like for me it's summer and then step fully into embrace what is present and showing up for the fall for for my experience and I don't like that I don't like it Maybe not because I don't want change, but because it calls for me to show up in a different way. It's not as comfortable. It's much more reflective. It's a slower pace. How can we get any slower than we've already felt or been? I mean, the anxiety has been off the charts. The empathy has been deep, deep in the low The depression has come forward. I mean, we can see it. I can sense it. I can feel bouts of of passing energy cyclically that feels like pulling us down or pulling me down into where other people are at. That's not my comfort space. It's not my go-to. That's not my norm. And so it would be natural for me to question this inward reflective energy during this time of massive growth opportunity as is this contradictory is this contrast when I go within and I go deep and I I I go deep inside of me deep into the belly into the cauldron within and allow all of my own alchemy to be known to me and to sit with that and to be my own healer and to be my own guide when I do that at times, it feels as though I'm disconnecting from others. And that can feel that can feel very much the case, but it's not the truth. Because when you're reconnecting with yourself, you're nurturing, supporting and amplifying the entire collective grid, because you're doing your part to heal into your wholeness. And that instinctively, through your light and being amplified inside of you for you acknowledging your own light, that gives to the collective grid and everyone benefits from that. And those times of reflection can feel kind of lonely because what you're doing is you're reconnecting with yourself and getting to know yourself again because you've changed. We've been through a lot and your spirit has a lot of wisdom to share because of it. Have you even taken time to have conversations, connections, meditations within yourself? Have you? I mean, have you truly? (sighs) That's simply an observation, a question, so that you can renew your commitment through your choices to what you want your life to be. Finding the rhythm during this time is key for you. What is your rhythm like? You might have a high productive rhythm during this time of expansion. You might get supercharged and so motivated and productive, or you might really, really focus on slowing your pattern and the need for recognition, the need for productivity to the point where other people see how great you are. You may stop proving yourself. You may stop beating yourself up. You may simply give yourself permission to show up. Where you are most needed is within yourself. 
Unless, of course, all along you've been tending to your own needs. Have you? Have you been tending to your own needs? Do you even know what those needs are? They change, you know. They change with the new cycles. With the invitation, the request for you to participate in this accelerated growth time, it's a good time to ask for what you need for that. What kind of school supplies do you need for your learning and your growth? What kind of tools do you have already that you can begin to take out, dust off, and start using again? Remember that crystal grid class you took a long time ago? Remember that book you read 10 years ago? Talked about intuition. Maybe it's time to crack that book back out again. Maybe there's a a card deck of daily affirmations you've used from time to time and someone gave to you at one point and haven't seen that for a while. Maybe it's time to bring that out again. Whatever that looks like for you. Whew. This is a lot of info, you guys. Mm-hmm. Having a sip of my coffee. You know, I added to my coffee this morning... I added some heavy whipping cream. (laughs) I know, I know. I don't usually do a lot of dairy. Like, I try not to at all, actually. Very rarely do I do dairy. And this morning I did because I could not resist that heavy whipping cream that I saw in the fridge that I bought myself at my own hand. I bought it so that my kids could enjoy some good hot chocolates and stuff and make some fancy coffees at home when they're doing their homeschooling instead of, you know, going out to the Starbucks or Caribou's coffee shops and such so oh it's good it tastes pretty darn good I gotta admit hmm today it's a nice day out I am missing the summer sun but today the sun is out I'm sitting outside and I can hear the birds still chalking talking away to each other just chat chat chatting can hear the cicadas just a little bit Those little bugs that talk, they're so loud. And I'm just really being present. I hope you can feel that. I hope that encourages you. And I hope that inspires your spirit. Mm -hmm. Gives you encouragement to live your life. This is your life after all. Hey, thanks so much for, for watching the videos and the playlists on Above Life channel here on YouTube. And for being part of my Sunday morning coffee series, my version of a podcast, don't you know? If you want to find me and connect with me on other videos, I have another YouTube channel called Fairy Grasshopper on YouTube. That's Fairy Grasshopper on YouTube. You can find me on social media, on Instagram at Bridget Inspired, on Facebook at Above Life Channel and Bridget Inspired. Thanks so much for being here. And for being part of this, this unique journey, let's say that today, (laughs) this unique journey. (laughs) Thanks, you guys.